Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonkster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update where today we finally have construction on the brand new Sidewinder Safari. This is the brand new family roller coaster coming to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom for the 2021 season. Uh, we know it's now going to be confirmed. There were rumoured reports that it was going to be cancelled altogether. Um, there, were, there were a few reports actually that... Um, I think the main things that we're thinking about getting cancelled altogether was Sidewinder Safari and the Wahoo Wave going to the Darien Lake uh, water park. Um, so, you know, there was there was definitely concerns whether either one of the two or both could get cancelled altogether. I don't know what's happening with Wahoo Wave. I think that's being constructed still. However, we definitely now know that Sidewinder Safari is also being constructed. So, uh, we do have some construction images. Now, they are from Discord. So, whoever put them on a Discord, I've caught them off the internet so whoever you are if you're watching this and these are your images that are about to come on screen while well, i tell you guys exactly what's been going on then credit goes to you for the images but for now guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the coach bell so you never miss another thrilling coast channel video and for now guys let's get into talk about the latest construction as well as the stats for any newcomers about this brand new sidewinder safari so as you can see by the images on your screen, it is construction underway at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom as Sidewinder Safari reaches peak height. In other words, jungle peak height. As the construction reaches an all-time high as the first piece of track and supports are on site. And they're ready to be constructed on the official coaster location. Now for those of you who don't know what this coaster is, this is a Zamperla Twister Coaster, specifically a 420 STD model. Now this has a length of 1,378 feet, a height of 42.7 feet, and a top speed of 29.1 miles per hour, which is not too shabby for a decent looking family twister roller coaster. So there we go, that's looking at the construction of Signed Winder Safari. Now, I did have a look at a lot of different updates on this coaster. I remember when it was first announced, we released the, the Sidewinder Safari video as a separate video. Uh, we talked about it in the attractions analysis for 2020, now of course 2021. Um, and Sidewinder Safari definitely looks to be one of the underrated family additions coming to the US next year. And, you know, this pretty much confirms that it will be going ahead next year. It will not be cancelled like potentially some were uh, going to be. And, you know, Six Flags is pretty much... I mean, we knew they weren't going to do some kind of park chain-wide announcement. There's still a lot of questions whether they are going to make individual announcements. Of course, St. America's rumoured for a coaster. St. Louis is rumoured for a coaster. Magic Mountain's rumoured for a... Heavily rumoured, all but confirmed to be for a coaster. So we don't know if Magic Mountain's going to make an individual announcement, as will America and St. Louis. St. Louis, probably not. I think that's going to be 2022 now, because of course they're going to be delaying Catwoman's Whip their fun time booster ride, as will Great Escape with their booster Adirondack Outlaw. Um, uh, which is now called Outlaw, apparently. Um, but we know America's rumoured to get a coaster. Uh, that could be 2022 now. Uh, but Harley Quinn's been sent I tell you what, I think that's pretty much raring to, ready and ready to go if it hasn't opened already. So, uh, you know, I think America will definitely be um, preparing for that this year, uh, up to the back end of this year. So I don't know if they're going to still do something in 2021. Probably not. Maybe they'll do a full operational year for this new 2020 edition if they are going to open it at the back end of 2020. Uh, but Magic Mountain definitely was one of the question marks. Because of course, they're getting a brand new... RMC wrapped to like a Jersey Devil type model on the Green Lantern Tunnel Wave site. So has that been now pushed back to 2022? Are we going to have an individual announcement just from Magic Mountain? I mean, they did say that they were going to make no capital investments in 2021. It was going to be uh, 2020 delayed attractions. Then all the parks that were that have already opened their 2020 attractions were just going to continue as normal. So no new attractions for 2021 for the likes of... Um, the parks that have opened their 2020 attractions so over Georgia, they've opened their two new rides. So that's a, that's one example of a few parks that have already opened their 2020 attractions and will probably not add anything new in 2021. Uh, even though there were heavy rumours of three coasters. But I think all them plans have been pushed 2022 now. I think it's going to be pushed back a year or so. So uh, I think we are looking here at um, the, the three coasters... Um, the Scream and Swing, the Zampola family attractions, I think all of that will be 2022 now, and I think it will just be 2020 delayed attractions or no attractions at all in 2021 for some parks. 
uh, that have already opened their 2020 attractions. So, be interested to see what America does. Magic Mountain, no new attraction because uh, I think they'll I think they'll deal with a, a year gap between two coasters because of course West Coast Races open in January this year. So, uh, you know, and that was delayed from 2019. So, uh, Magic Mountain second year in a row delaying a coaster. Yeah, not too bad. Um, but Discovery Kingdom, Sawanda Safari, that is coming in 2021 because of course there was no construction in 2020. So uh, until now, so. Um, you know, it's going to be a 2021 attraction. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad they're not delaying this. Because I think this is the perfect family attraction. The perfect family coaster that the park are now missing. And they're now going to fill that void with a Zampella Twister coaster for the family. So, uh, you know, and the jungle theme. I love the jungle theme of this. I spoke about it in my... Uh, analysis of this particular attraction in the video of analysis vi of, of the all the attractions uh, for Six Flags this year going into next year now um, and I spoke about the theme and how it was a very nice theme it was very family related it fitted the the sort of Six Flags way of thinking I like the idea of Sidewinder Safari I've got a if they're going to use that name again by the way I've got a really interesting feeling they may use it for some kind of Zampilla endeavour in the future or they may use it for uh uh, one like one of those classic scrambler rides that over Georgia added with their poison ivy toxic twister So maybe that'll use that name in one of those two places uh, But it will be interesting to see if they do use that name again or whether it just becomes exclusive to Discovery Kingdom So very interesting there and uh, from the construction that you saw very very exciting indeed So thank you very much for watching this theme park news and update stay tuned stay tuned for another video the last video today Which is a next five years plan video uh, from Six Flags St. Louis. So stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, guys, thank you very, very much. I'm Coach Chow, Caitlin, the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys for the next video soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.